The course they face will be eight and a half kilometers and it gives them a chance to try all of their skills. There's uphill, there's downhill, and there's a little bit of cornering to go round too. The course starts in the top left-hand side there, down to the bottom at Hexenhauser, and then up back on the right-hand side with a lot of tricky descending, tricky climbing, to find out exactly who will be the world champion at this discipline. 8.5 kilometers, four laps for the women, and six laps for the men later on this afternoon. Well, the referee gives his final instructions. We get a chance to look at some of the favourites on the start line. This is Julie Furtado, 28 years of age, 1993 and 1994 World Cup winner. Final few preparations, a little bit of stretching. The Swiss lady here, this is Sylvia First. She's an excellent rider. 1992 world champion, again, very experienced, 33 years of age. And a lot of spectators travel over the border to see this lady because they feel that she can be world champion again. And the final big favourite who is engulfed by the press here at the moment is Alison Sidor from Canada. She's the outgoing champion, but it really just goes to prove how the sport of mountain biking is taking off because the press have come from all over the world to witness this championships. It's a very nervous moment just before the start there because they all realize that the most important part of this mountain bike race can be in the first 100 meters. It's so important to get a good start. They're off. Well, that's a superb start. You can see, in fact, there on the left-hand side, number one, that is Alison Sider, the outgoing champion. She's got a great start, followed very rapidly there also by Julie Furtado from the United States of America. Well, just to explain, these riders are seeded as they start. The best riders in the world start on the front grid, and afterwards, it's everyone for himself. The little arrow there shows you just exactly where they are at the moment. They have to go down there to the bottom of the course to Hexenhauser, which actually means haunted house. You can see already the race starting to spread out all over the countryside here. The cowbells you can hear in the background, that's the Swiss. They're obviously shouting for Sylvia first. Well, the church tower in Kursarten here and gets a chance for us to look at the beautiful countryside here around the Black Forest. I think having the race here really has raised the profile of the region, letting people know just what a beautiful place it is to come on holiday. But there's definitely no holiday here today for the riders. Very early leader there, in fact, number 57 from New Zealand. That looks very much to me as if that's Kathy Lynch. See one or two riders at the back of the pack suffering already. In fact, you see on the back they have these pouches. They use those to carry not only water, but spare tires because they're not allowed to change wheels in mountain bike racing as they may well do on some of the road racing that you've seen on television. This is where they are at the moment. They're getting to the rather technical point of the course, about two kilometers from the finish line. It gets us a chance for us to see who is the first leader. And there she is, number one, Alison Sider, flying away. Unofficial checks out on the course give her a 30 second lead at the moment. Well, there's only one way to defend the World Championships, and that is from the front. The lady who won the title back in 1994 has taken the race by the horns at the moment. And she really is able to ride on all kinds of terrain, because in 1993, she was the third place rider in the road race championships in the world. She's chased in third position out on the road at the moment by Julie Furtado, because one rider has gone through already. And in fact, that is Chantel Ducour from Switzerland. You see the gaps already starting to open with these riders. It's a very fast course today, and I think we're going to see somebody who is able to last a long, tough day coming out on top. This is Alison Sido. You can hear the crowd getting behind them. You know, she really is a superb athlete. She's trained an awful lot on the road. She likes to ride road racing as well as mountain bike racing, but this is a terrain where she really does excel. The chance to see here some of the back markers. It really is opening up at the moment. It's a very fast course. It's dried over a bit, and you see, if you come into one of those corners and you lose it, you lose an awful lot of time. Another Canadian going through there as well. Well, coming up to the end of the first lap, it won't be very long before we get a chance to get a definite time check on the finish line here. Alison Sido opening up the gap officially. We think that she may well be 35 seconds up on the chasing rider, Chantel Docourt. And Docourt has an awful lot of supporters out here. In fact, many of the riders painting themselves up in blue faces to look like strumps. And looking extremely comfortable at the moment, but you know it's an awful long way to go. There's the time check, 19 seconds, so it isn't very much. 77 going through, that is Docor. And third out on the road, number 92, Julie Furtado. It looks to me as if she's suffering a little bit because she couldn't stay in contact with the leaders. 
getting out of the saddle. She's trying to stretch her back a little bit, I think, there. She is pushing herself. She is, let's not forget, one of the older riders in the race today. But she would like to go out with another world title under her belt. She gets a chance to look over her shoulder there. I think she wants somebody to come up from behind to help her a little bit. Look at the time splits already. After one lap, she's 58 seconds down. Well, she is chased just a few seconds later, also by the Italian favourite Paolo Pezzo and the German Regina Marunde. Well, at the end of lap two, confirmation of the position out on the course. Alison Seidor of Canada still in first place, ahead of Chantal Docor of Switzerland, and Sylvie First of Switzerland in third place. Juliana Fatado has dropped back just a little bit into fourth. Chance to look across the forest here really is a superb terrain for a mountain bike race, and this is the leader. Alison Seidor building on that lead all the time. The chasing lady here, in fact, is Docour from Switzerland. Let's not forget, this lady is a two-time European champion. She's doing a great job. She realizes now is the time that she has to put the pressure on if she's going to close the gap. But she has a teammate chasing behind as well. Sylvia First, also from Switzerland, would like to get back into the contention. You see how the early riders are digging the mud up now. It really is starting to get treacherous on this descent. It's very, very slippy, and our motorbike cameraman is doing a fine job to stay in contact with these bike riders. There she gets onto the hardened part of the course there. All the time she's looking for the best part of the route so she can pick up a little bit of speed. But this course today, the soggy part on the back part of the circuit, is very, very strength-sapping chance to try and check out the gears here she's at the bottom of the course here there we're at Hexen house the, the haunted house area it really has built a lot of tradition here in the area many people come to visit it because they believe that the old lady still lives there as we come into the third lap here Alison Sider really is walking away with this race I don't think anybody can challenge the lady from Canada she's built her season around this event I feel she wasn't so good in the World Cups this year but when it came down to the World Championships You've got to be on form. Chantal Docourt still holding on to second place, but you see she's not quite as fluid as she goes around those corners. A little bit of difficulty there picking up the speed as she looks for the hard part of the dirt to pick up a little bit of speed, but it is difficult. She's doing a great job, but she really doesn't have the class of the super champion of today, I think. You know, Alison Sider is walking away with this event. A little bit further down in third position on the road, Sylvia first. She's been joined by Julie Furtado, and Furtado trying to stay in contact. The Americans felt that she could come today and walk away with another title. Let's not forget, this lady has been the world champion in not only the cross country, but also the downhill. Everybody looking for a good vantage point to get a good shot, because this really is a photogenic sport. The battle here, look at the way those bikes are vibrating the arms. It really does tire you out because these ladies are going to race for something like two hours today and it is a tough event. Look at this, number 100 coming through at the moment. 29 is the French girl that I've been looking for, that's Sophie Hozot. Her husband is a former professional rider who rode the Tour de France and she's obviously been taking a lot of tips from him because she's staying right in the slipstream. Well, there's the lap, bell lap for Alison Seidel. One lap to go, eight and a half kilometers to find out whether she can be crowned world champion for the second year in succession. As she goes through the feeding station here, she gets a chance to take a bottle for the last time if she's going to need it. But look at the concentration on this lady's face. There she takes the bottle. She will want to keep herself topped up because she wouldn't want to crack in the last few kilometers of the race. Well, the long, lonely ride of a champion, but in eight and a half kilometers, anything can happen. Chantal Docourt comes through, one minute and 10 seconds behind the leader. Superb ride, but she's been chased quite rapidly now by Sylvia First, who's not too far behind her, but look at this, the pain can be seen all over her face. She realizes she has eight and a half kilometers to put things to right. She takes her last bottle, that'll be filled up with some kind of isotonic drink to keep her going for the last 20 minutes of effort. Well, moving up into third place is Sylvia First, and information coming to us, in fact, that Julie Furtado has crashed. Annabelle Stopparo from Italy has moved up into fifth place, but still at the top of the leaderboard is Alison Seidor. A lot of riders having great difficulties out on the course at the moment. This is 167, Sabina Spitz from Germany, who really is going through all kinds of purgatory. 
Number 44 from Japan, Kanako. They've brought an excellent team over here. The important thing about today, though, is to finish in the top 15 teams for these ladies because that way they'll qualify for the Olympics next year. One of the Chinese riders at the back also suffering. It is a long day in the saddle for some of these back markers. This is Jay McDonald from the Australian Institute for Sport. They really have increased their participation around the world. The Aussies, they're doing a great job. This is Chantal Docor. You can hear the Swiss shouting encouragement. They want to get her up there, but she is at the moment over one minute behind the lone leader, Alison Seidor. This is number seven, Katrina Miller from Australia, another Aussie who's giving everything, but she is about to be lapped because here, number one, out on the course at the moment is the lady that's walking away with the championship, Alison Seidel, but she mustn't take too many risks because, you know, if you go down at this time of the game, you don't get a spare bicycle, you don't get a spare wheel, you're out of the running. There's second place rider Dokor at the moment. She goes through the mud. She's throwing the bike all over the place, but she is rapidly being chased by this lady, Sylvia First. Here the Swiss there, hop, hop, hop is what they're shouting. This is the part of the course they're on at the moment. They're moving into the tricky part. A couple more climbs to go and then about one kilometer to the finish. And look what's happened. In fact, number 78, Sylvia First has moved into second place and now she is chasing the lone leader. Look at that. Third place out on the road here is 77, Docor. She's slipping back. She'll have to keep it going. She's struggling an awful lot at the moment. You see the pain in her arms. In fact, this is when you make mistakes. You come into a corner like that, you lose control, and that's when you lose seconds. But this lady is not making any mistakes today. Alison Sidor at the front has done everything right. She's come to this World Championships with the best possible form, and she wants to go away for the second year running as the champion of the world. It won't be very long now when she comes into the stadium to a great crowd because she's a popular rider, very quiet, but very dedicated. Well, that's it, you know, for Alison Sido. She gets a chance for a lap of honour as she comes down here. The two arms aloft. She now knows that she's champion of the world for the second year in success. And what a superb ride by this young lady from Canada. She is elated as she comes up three or four hundred metres to go. She's going to take this pleasure home with her to Canada next week. Look at that. Almost two hours in the saddle. She comes up to the finish line. That's been an extremely tough day for this young lady. One hour, 59 and 31 seconds. Seconds, but that was the best ride of the day. A quick stop there by the referees to check and make sure she's had no illicit bike changes out on the course. And second place will go to this lady, Sylvia First from Switzerland. She's done a great pursuit to get back into contention. She had a bit of bad luck in the early part of the course, but she won't be too dissatisfied with second place. She looks over her shoulder to see if she can see her teammate. There's nobody else there, but she waves to the crowd. The Swiss are going wild. You can see the Swiss flags in the bottom of the picture there. They are happy. They throw roses to the lady that they love. One minute and four seconds further back she was from the winner, Alison Sido, but out on the course, you know, this young lady, Annabella Straparo, is doing a great ride. She's a young rider, we didn't expect to see her. She's given everything she's got. She's extremely tired, but she's going to be happy when she gets to the finish line because she really will be carrying the hopes of Italy. Well, that was a great ride by Chantal Docor. She was out chasing the leader for a long time there. She gave everything. One minute and 49 seconds back on the leader, but she will be happy with third place tonight. She's happy. Alison, I spoke to you a couple of days ago, and you didn't really want to say that you thought you could win this because you didn't want to jinx yourself, but you must have been quietly confident. Well, I know, you know, the only thing you can do is take care of your preparation, and I know I've had a good two weeks of preparation, and I knew that, uh, you know, the course, I liked the course a lot. I, I thought it suited my abilities really well. But, uh, yeah, you know, I think you, you know, most riders don't really want to put themselves in the position of being the favorite and uh, like to just, just keep quiet about uh, what they think their form is. Well, that was a superb ride. Here is confirmation of the final result there. Alison Seidor takes that championship for the second year. Sylvia First from Switzerland was second. Chantal Docor of Switzerland was third. Annabella Straparo did come in fourth place with Sophie Hozov, France, in fifth. Five minutes.